put a crowd. Yeah, I can get some free time with the, with the family just oh, to sure. relax. I'll just do it. We're ready. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming to the Common Council organizational meeting. Uh, please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> Alderman Strelchek? Here. Alderman Pouquet? Here. Alderman Meyer is absent. Alderman Lashinsky? Here. Alderman Garrell? Here. Alderman Hawkins? Here. Alderman Nurbin? Here. Alderman Adams? Here. Mayor Avendroth? Here. And our first item is the report of the April 7th <coughs> election results. Thank you, Mayor Councilman. We had three districts that had uh, an election for aldermen, District 6, 7, and 8. District 6, Alderman Hawkins won with a total vote of 616. District 7, Alderman Nurbin was successful with 588. And District 8, Alderman Adams uh, beat out her opponent 510 to 297. Thank you. Now we will administer the oath of office to the three re-elected aldermen. the button does it work can you hold it we're going to go back and forth probably i john hawkins i john hawkins having been elected to the office of alderman district 6 having been elected to the office of alderman district 6 swear that i will support the constitution of the united states swear that i will support the constitution of the united states and the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And will faithfully and impartially. And will faithfully and impartially. Discharge the duties of said office. Discharge the duties of said office. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you, Alderman Hawkins. Uh, Alderman Nurbin. Andrew Nurbin. I, Andrew J. Nurbin. I, Andrew J. Nurbin. Having been elected to the office of Alderman District 7. Having been elected to the office of Alderman District 7. Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And will faithfully and impartially. And will faithfully and impartially. Discharge the duties of said office. Discharge the duties of said office. To the best of my ability, so help me God the best of my ability, so help me God. Very good. I guess I should keep going. Alderman Adams. Bible coming. 
I, Pam Adams. I, Pam Adams. Having been elected to the office of Alderman District 8. Having been elected to the office of Alderman District 8. Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And will faithfully and impartially. And will faithfully and impartially. Discharge the duties of said office. Discharge the duties of said office. To the best of my ability, so help me God. To the best of my ability, so help me God. Thank you. Nice <laughs> going, Pam. They gave you the words? <laughs> <laughs> All right, congratulations to Alderman Hawkins, Alderman Nurbin, and Alderman Adams. <clears throat> Next item is the election of Common Council President, and I'll be looking for nominations. Alderman Hawkins. I will uh, nominate Andrew Nurbin, and I'd like to explain it, that last year, uh, <clears throat> Alderman Nurbin and Alderman Meyer uh, were running. We had one vote, and they were tied. And Alderman Nurbin withdrew his nomination. So uh, that's why I'm nominating him tonight. Second the nomination. Joint second the nomination. <laughs> Actually, we don't need a second, but thank you very much. Well, you'll get a second. And then uh, uh, I was listed as a interested party in common council president. I have the utmost respect for Alderman Nurbin. I think that he has done an exceptional job in his term as alderman. With his recent re-election, I'm pleased to see him back. And I would like to remove my name from candidacy, and I would like to not accept a no nomination, even if it would be offered for said position. Okay, thank you. That is the same for me. I don't wish to be considered. Okay, I trust there are no other nominations. Um, procedure is to have a secret ballot. Is that necessary? I, I presumably would know who the vote is <laughs> Four, but I, I suppose you could technically have folks that vote no. So it's really up to the body whether they want to hold a secret ballot or not. You could no call for a vote depending on which way you want to do it, either by secret ballot or open. <coughs> well, let me call for a vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate all my colleagues. It really means a lot. Um, probably the only alderman to win two uncontested elections in a single month. <laughs> <laughs> but, so not to make light of it, but I, I really do appreciate the vote of confidence, and um, thank you, it means a lot. All right, thank you. Congratulations, to Alderman Nurbin. Um, <coughs> since you will be required to appoint people to committees, commissions, and boards. I've passed this down. This was produced by Lena before she left, and nobody's seen that. Um, <clears throat> but our next item is Planning Commission Aldermanic uh, Representative, which is nominated by the Common Council President. So I will look to Alderman Nurbin for that. So for the Planning Commission, I, I chose the tag team of Adams and Strelchek again this year. I think there's a lot of good things about splitting that appointment. It's uh, one of the most intensive committees. And I think there's a certain beauty to keeping the people guessing who's going to be on next month. And it seems to be going well. So I know you both really wanted that position. So we're happy to give it to you again this year. Thank you. All right, we have a nomination to nominate Alderman Adams and Alderman Strelchek to the Planning Commission. Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Are there any opposed? And congratulations to Alderman Adams and Alderman Strelchek. Thank you. Um, 
Next item is Common Council Aldermanic Representative Appointments to the Economic Development Board, Library Board, Park Board, and Bikeway Committee. And typically these are nominated by the Common Council themselves. And I think we would probably defer to Alderman Nurbin at this point if he had, Casey has any recommendations for those. <coughs> for Economic Development Board, I had wished to nominate um, Alderman Girl with um, Alderman Piquet being the alternate with the suggestion that both attend as many meetings as possible. I think the more aldermen we can get into that meeting, it's kind of a odd morning meeting and it's hard for a lot of people to make it to. I think the more aldermanic debate we can get at the committee level there, the better. Okay, we've nominated Alderman Girol as the representative and Alderman Piquet as the alternate. All those in favor say aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Congratulations to Alderman Girl and Alderman Bouquet. Thank you. Uh, library board was going to nominate Alderman Hawkins again with myself as the alternate. Okay. Um, Alderman Hawkins as the library board representative and Alderman Nurbin as the alternate. All those in favor say aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Congratulations to you. For Park Board, I was going to nominate Alderman Lashinsky for the regular aldermanic appointment and myself as the alternate. Alderman Lashinsky as the Park Board representative and Alderman Nurbin as the alternate. All those in favor say aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Congratulations. Thank you. And bikeway committee is optional. Bikeway committee is optional, and I think it's important to have representation. And I, I know one semi-avid biker on amongst us. I was going to nominate Alderman Stralchek. Great. Look forward to it. If you need an alternate, let me know. It doesn't say we need one, but if you can't make it, I can go. Excellent. Thank you. All right. He accepts the alternate uh, or the optional appointment. All those in favor say aye. 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 Are there any opposed? <coughs> Congratulations. Um, <coughs> we now need to convene as a committee of the whole, and the Common Council President will nominate and confirm standing committee assignments. Finance and personnel first up. The supposed redheaded stepchild of appointments. No one wanted this one, it seemed like this year. It's a very important one, nonetheless. Um, my appointments were going to be Alderman Pouquet, Alderman Meyer, and Alderman Lashinsky. I think it's, it's an important year for that committee with all the okay. HR related items that are coming up, so I wanted to load that one with some experience. You can just keep going. Keep going? Okay. Yeah. Um, public safety, Alderman Piquet, Alderman Lashinsky, and Alderman Hawkins. Welfare, Alderman Stralchek, Alderman Meyer, Alderman Girl. And public works, Alderman Hawkins, myself, and Alderman Adams. Everyone got their number one. Okay. Does anybody have any comments or questions about these nominations? Hmm. I've got a cheat sheet if anyone wants to pass it around. <laughs> well, I'll call for a vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Congratulations. That's Thanks. Oh, I'll, I'll pass it around. Those nice job on that. <clears throat> Um, the next item is a discussion regarding committee meeting dates and times. Um, I guess let me introduce the fact that um, we seem to have a situation where on common council nights all committees attempt to have meetings. And it would be nice if when the committees first organize and meet that they, uh, besides elect a chairman, 
that they look at the calendar and decide what day of the month they prefer to meet on. Historically, the Finance Personnel Committee has met um, before the Common Council meeting on Common Council nights. Typically, it's a short meeting. It used to be at 7 o'clock in the evening. Um, and that's because, because the Finance Personnel Committee meets twice a month. And there are things, there are budget things, there are finance things that need to be done um, on a routine basis. Lately, we've only been meeting once a month, finance personnel. Um, but historically, finance personnel has met just before the council meeting. And so when other committees schedule their meetings on that same night, you end up with a start time and an end time. And council members are shuffling back and forth between meetings. So uh, if anyone has an opinion or a suggestion or any comments about this, we'd appreciate that because um, I would suggest that when you f hold your organizational meeting for each of these committees that you think about that. Um, I don't know if you want to come on five, at 5.30 on, on a council night or not to hold your meeting or if you'd rather do it on an established day uh, of the month that you agree on. Well, there are other Tuesday nights in the month. There are so three, So we could yes. spread them around, couldn't we? And there's we? Wednesdays. And, uh, <laughs> we used to use them all. And I'll agree. I, okay. I know being on works and finance personnel this last year, it put a lot of pressure on trying to wrap up one meeting to get to the next, and it didn't always work out smoothly. Right. Okay, so give that some thought mm -hmm. when you have your organizational meeting. Okay. Um, the next item is an item for discussion under the Committee of the Whole. Uh, resolution 3301, a resolution opposing the freezing of funds for the Knowles uh, Nelson Stewardship Program. And the reason we put this on the agenda tonight is because this is a relevant issue for the uh, budget committee that's working at the state government level. Um, and they're in the process of con uh, considering the state budget. And so we thought it was imperative for us to express our opinion and get this item uh, approved as soon as possible. Um, are there any questions? If Jack is here, if he can explain this in further detail, if anyone needs that detail. This is, for, this is for discussion. Is this is op just open for discussion? Yes. Um, I would really support this. I think this, the um, Knowles Nelson Stewardship Program has been extraordinary over the years, and it sets Wisconsin off um, to, in relationship to other states. But aside from what it's done for the state as a whole, I know it's done a great deal for Mequon and for Ozaki County, um, and I, it would be a shame to see it drop at this point. Alderman Garrell. Yeah, I have a question. I didn't, uh, I don't even know what it is, so I would like to, somebody to explain to me what that program is um, so I can get a better understanding. Jack, do you want to? Yeah, it's a state program that f provides funding for the preservation of open space. And uh, in Ozaki County, I think the funds have been primarily used by the Ozaki Washington Land Trust. And in Mequon here, in partnership with the Land Trust, we've done quite a few projects. The Mequon Nature Preserve is probably the most uh, recognizable one, but there are others. Um, recently, we bought. 140 acres along the river in conjunction with the land trust and we were preparing to or they were preparing to file a grant uh, to get some additional uh, revenue from that and they're also working at this time on a number of private projects in the city of Mequon uh, where they raise funds from residents and also presumably get some grants from the state so there's a lot of open space preservation activity going on right here in Mequon that utilizes that fund. Okay, I heard of that, I heard of that, and I guess I understand that, I just didn't know the name of it, so um, I think I understand what it is and what we're, what we're doing. Okay, you wanna add anything? I think you summed it up. I mean, they do uh, 
purchase and easements, conservation easements as well. Just but everything else you said was accurate. Okay. Alderman Lashinsky. Do you know if they're trying to freeze those funds because they have a different uh, philosophy on buying private property now, or? I think the uh, the freezing of the funds is a, is a dead issue. I think the, from what I've seen, they're concerned about the um, the amount of debt that's out that they're paying on for those funds, and they want to freeze them until that money gets paid back. But the the current freezing is for 10 years, which I think the the pro, uh, the program ends in 11. So it pretty much effectively eliminates any future funding, you know, for the remainder of the program. Isn't it a privately funded? Enterprise, though? No. I mean, no. No, this is funded through state revenues and, or through the, through the state taxes, and, and it, it, they typically do a borrowing, and I think that's what the concern was. They're, they're paying uh, interest on some of the borrowing for the, the funding. Alderman Adams. Um, I think you did an excellent summary. And just based on one of the last sentences alone is enough, I think, that we'll all vote yes. That, as you know, the thank goodness the Ozaki Washington Land Trust is helping us raise the funds for the 150 acres of land along the Milwaukee River adjacent to Villadou Park. And right now, that whole process sounds like it's freezing up. When I read this, it says, based on this, all due diligence associated with the application has been put on hold. Correct. So, we really want to have their help with this. So, I'm definitely a yes vote just for that reason alone, among with the whole story. So am I. Okay, moving on, we will reconvene as a common council. And the first item is designation of the official city newspaper. Thank you, Mayor and Council. Um, by state statute, we uh, have to decide who our new uh, newspaper will be for publishing purposes. We sent out bids uh, to both News Graphic and North Shore Now, and the news graphic came in with a lower bid than the North Shore Now, so we're recommending news graphic. Okay, thank you. Looking for a motion. Move to approve. Second. Motion and a second to approve the news graphic as the official city newspaper. Um, any discussion? Um, call the roll. Alderman Pouquet? Aye. Alderman Lisinski? Aye. Alderman Garrell? Aye. Alderman Hawkins? Aye. Alderman Nurbin? Aye. Alderman Adams? Aye. Alderman Strelchuk? Aye. 7-0. Mm -hmm. And the news graphic, congratulations to you. You are once again the official city newspaper. Um, the next item is mayoral appointments. You have all of those uh, in front of you. Need a motion? Move to approve. Second. Is there any discussion, questions? Uh, do we need to waive the rule? It used to be we had to have two readings of appointments, but do we have to waive rules? No, not to my knowledge. Okay. Oh. I don't recall seeing anything specifically within the uh, code, but uh, if you give me a second, I can just pull it up and double check. Watch us on YouTube. Okay, we need we need sponsors. Is there like an, is there still an ethics board or is that a an ethics board? Yeah. Yes. I don't see it on here. Um those are Those are appointed by um, Alderman. Ethics Board and Open Space Commission is appointed by the Alderman. And they're actually, if you look partway down page one, two, three, you'll see item C, Aldermanic ah, Appointments. Thank you. Got it. Um, so we'll have to do that. 
in a moment. I, don't, I, don't, I do not see anything within the code that requires two readings on appointments. I, I, we might have changed that rule about a few years ago, I think, because for a while we did have two viewings. Yeah, I'm the, fine. The, the only one that I see is for uh, procedure and proposed ordinances and resolutions. So. Okay, thank you. Okay. Any other questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Okay, any appointments? Mayoral appointments are approved. We have aldermanic appointments for the Ethics Board and the Open Space Commission. I move approval. Second. second. Motion and a second to approve. Any questions, comments, discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? And all demandic appointments are approved. Item D is resolution 3301, which we just discussed. A resolution opposing the freezing of funds for the Knowles Nelson Stewardship Program. Second. Motion and a second to approve. Any discussion? Th this we would need. Ah. Mm -hmm. You're second correct. Uh, we need a suspension of the rules. Move to suspend the rules. Seconded. Motion and a second to suspend the rules. Um, call the roll. Alderman Lashinsky? Aye. Alderman Garrell? Aye. Alderman Hawkins? Aye. Alderman Nurbin? Aye. Alderman Adams? Aye. Alderman Strelchek? Aye. Alderman Pouquet? Aye. Seven zero. The rules are suspended. And once again, the motion and a second. Do you have that already? I have. I have the motion. Strelchek. Okay. 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 Motion and a second to approve resolution 3301. Any further discussion? Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Are there any opposed? That is adopted. That concludes our agenda. Uh, look for a motion to. Can I, can I say something? Sir. I just wanted to uh, uh, recognize Thomas Roy Menzel, who's sitting in the back here. He's uh, going to replace me on the park board. I think he's going to be absolutely excellent. He's worked with the park board on a number of issues, and he lives over on Island Drive and helped us out with uh, Moonlight Bay Landing. You're the only appointee to come to this meeting, so thank you very much. <laughs> All right, we have a motion and a second to adjourn? No. No, okay, we're looking for a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Second. Motion and a second to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? We are adjourned. Short meeting. <laughs> very good. My boys are going to see you before dark. <laughs> <laughs>